folks, AJ here. We're down here in Savannah, Georgia, and we're at One to Another Ministries. Um, so you know what we do. We're going to do a, uh, we don't have a lot of light here because they're still working here. Um, we're going to do a talk through, and then I, once I get back in front of my computer, we're going to write up an estimate to show. So this, I love stuff like this because you have the walls exposed. It makes it really easy. This area right here is going to be the sound room. Thinking about whether they do it or not, Running some wire here for a TV, for a, for a stage display, a confidence monitor, um, PTZ camera up here. Have wiring for PTZ on either side and then another one in the front. Thinking about a 75 inch or even an 85 right here in the center, flanking two 70s on either side. And then in this area right here, that's gonna be a data closet where everything is gonna connect. We're gonna do an X32, run a digital snake up and over, all the way into that closet over there. Maybe do an S16, maybe a S32. I think an S32 is gonna be overkill. Um, look at either hanging speakers from the ceiling or doing wall mounts for them. Um, maybe I add a sub, don't know. Um, looking at maybe going with eight to 16 wireless mics, which would be good. So we will probably go with the S32. This area is probably gonna be for the band. So we're gonna have enough connections so that the drums, all the instruments can be plugged in there. We can be nice and pretty and have jacks on the wall and everything so people can plug into. Also doing networking. We're gonna run, do drops. Um, this is gonna be like a conference room over here. Let me turn you around. Do a conference room over here. So we're gonna do two drops network cables over here and pretty much do at least a data connection into every room. Right here, I'll probably drop um, a cable over here so we can have Wi-Fi here, an access point, and this is kind of like the children's church here. So a TV, I believe, is either going to go on this wall or over here. We'll make sure we have access to a data cable somewhere. I'll probably just drop one on both sides, make it easy, network here. And maybe you actually put the access point in this part of the building, of the room. Um, what else? What else? And then also, since we're using the Unify stuff, we actually might also run some cabling for future um, security cameras um, in different locations. We'll talk about that at a later point in time. But this is the main sanctuary. Then if we go here into the back... So that's the data area right there. We're going to do some more drops back here. So a drop, this is kind of like the kitchen area. So I'll put maybe a, a data line right here. The pastor's office is around here as well too. So we'll probably put a video cable and as well data as well too. But for them, city doesn't want a TV, but again, I'd rather run it and not need it than to have to run it after the fact. Um, so pretty straightforward. Um, and then we'll have access. Thinking about a UDM Pro, maybe two um, UA, UAP Pros, mainly one here in the sanctuary. One will cover this entire area, one in the back area, and then another back there. And I think we should be good from here. So we're going to be doing sound and some other things as well, too. So let me get in, up. Let me zoom out. Y'all up in my face. Let me get over in front of the computer, and then we'll do a design of everything, and we'll write that up. And, you know, if we do anything, we'll be bringing y'all down here along with us to show you the whole process. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All righty, folks. I am actually in Alabama right now from driving all day, but let's go ahead and get into Draw.io and let's go ahead and design this. Now, this is going to be a beast of a system similar to what we did at Signs and Wonders because it's everything. Um, so let's go ahead and get over to designing it. All right, so <clears throat> let's start with the base, and I'm actually going to work backwards because we need to have some networking as well, too. So I'm going to go ahead and get some TV. So the intention is going to be to put a 75 in the center and maybe two 70s flanking. Let's put that in the center. All right. 
so we got that and we're gonna run the cables up and around instead of over the rafters because it's just easier to get that way so we're gonna have um, gonna I'm gonna wire it well let me just finish the whole thing so we're gonna have we're gonna do SDI to HDMI converters on each one of these and there's a reason why I'm gonna do that so that'll be SDI to HDMI for each one of these. All right. And in the back, they already said they wanted an X32, so we'll do an X32 compact there. And most likely, what I'm going to do is do an S. 16 in the front snake for plugging in the instruments the drums and everything right there in the front the wireless mics we're gonna have them connected in the back here to the x32 since it'll be a straight line of sight so not a real issue with that um, and I'm actually gonna go with an ATEM SDI stream and the reason why it gives me some more flexibility because with this construction I normally would use a fiber optic HDMI cable but I don't want to do that because of all the work so I'm gonna do RG6s and CAT6 then I don't have to worry about any type of issue with the termination being a problem um, something there's an issue we just snip some more of the cable off and we re-terminate it and that gives me four unique outputs as well too so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have this here and I didn't I need to ask if they have a computer with this so I might actually do a computer anyway in this install so of course we're gonna connect our audio cable from the X32 most likely gonna be dual um, XLR to 3.5 millimeter then we have our shielded cable that's going to run around and connect to the S16 in the front. And we got another monitor, most likely going to be a 27 or a 32, which will be the multi-view. So we're going to have to convert that as well for here. Go ahead and connect that. No, I'll do it this way. And just know that all of these have SDI cables, um, HDMI cables going to them. So that's one out. And to be quite honest, I might, I might actually do this back because I need to figure out if all three of these TVs are going to actually show the same thing. And actually, let me not do that. Um, so let's run these back here. So that's one, one, two, three, four. So if these TVs would show the exact same thing, we would just run one line here and then do a splitter that's locally there. Maybe run a secondary one for a backup. But um, as of right now, I'm going to assume that, yeah, this is all going to show the same thing. So what I'm going to do is actually have these daisy chained out because these converters do have a SDI loop out. So I will have some redundancy cables going there. Now inside of the other parts of the building, we do have some other TVs. So there's the conference room, the pastor's office. Even though he said he didn't want one, I like to have the cables there just in case. We also have the um, children's church. And again, each one of these are going to have converters on here as well. We don't have to worry about speakers because the audio is going to audio and video is going to be handled by the TV. And all of these TVs, they said, were actually donated, so I don't have to worry about them. Maybe just have to worry about mounts. Um, we're going to have an SDI splitter over here, so that will handle everything now again I could do fiber optic here um, and that could save on this so you never know we could go in that direction here to make it a little bit easier let's get this cable out here 
So this SDI out is going to be for the multi-view. That's the output for the SDI, ATEM SDI. The, the TVs, they're going to be just the output from the presentation PC. That's two. Then we have the third out, which is going to be the full mix that goes to all the TVs. So that's they're seeing the cameras and everything that way. All right. Now we're also going to do our four PTZs because I think they were concerned about the price, but I think the cameras that we use will be able to get them at a more decent price. And I'm not going to do these in the layout I normally would just because I'm running short on space here. Ah, forget it, AJ. Just do it that way. Nah, I'm running out of space, so let me do it this way. So this would be, you know, left, right, front, and back. You know, we got our cameras and stuff like that, right? So, and because this, we're going to make this easy because we can just run an SDI cable to all of these. And again, I don't know why this does this. Then this last one here. All right, so we got all our cameras there, and I'm going to come back on my network stuff. All right, um, let's get our joystick, IP joystick, makes this a whole lot easier. And I'm going to throw in a computer as well, too, which would be our presentation system. And most likely in this setup, I'll actually do a decklink mini monitor so that I don't have to worry about, um, well, let me take that back. I'm not going to do that because I don't know what presentation software they're going to use. So let's scoot down here a little bit. Presentation PC. We're going to need to have a converter on here, which is going to be our actual HDMI to SDI. So we'll come in to the ATEM that way. Um, we're going to add an SSD for recording like we typically do. And this is the ISO, so it's actually going to record everything, which is a bonus as well. We talked about that from doing weddings and all this other stuff. Just realize every time you all do this, um, if you really need to get buy-in from the people who are um, going to be making the decisions, please make sure that you mention that, that you can save money by doing this, recording weddings, offering it to anybody there as well, too. All right, so we got that. Am I missing anything? No. So, of course, we're going to probably do some, I don't know, I might try some Phoenix Pro mics this time around. I need to reach out to them or GTD audio, it doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna have um, eight um, handhelds for them. Um, so that'll be connected on here and then the other 16 will be for the musicians. So we got direct boxes and all that other stuff. We're gonna do two speakers, um, two 15s and two subs, maybe even go um, bigger than that. Um, they wanna have them rigged from the ceiling. I'll look at that, but I might wanna do them on the walls. Um, just to save from there. So we'll pick some of that stuff out as well too. And all of those are going to be connected to the outs on the S16. So really don't need to worry about that. Now let me zoom out some. And I was going to do this separately, but we're going to do this all combined. So that's just the AV. Oh, and I, I didn't include the back TV. We got one more TV that's going to go in the back for a confidence monitor. And this is the reason why I make that other stuff, so I don't forget about this. And normally these would be in a splitter, so we have one, two, three. We still have another out, so I'll just do it to this way for right now. Because if all of these are the same, I'm going to feed all of these into an SDI splitter so that we don't need to waste other outputs. All right, so that'll be back TV. All right, 
So we got that, and then the other TVs are in the part of the building. Cool. So now we're going to do an entire Unify system as well, too. So um, I'm just going to use switches here just to make the images, the icons that I'm using in this, and I'll do the names on here. So in this type of scenario, I'm actually going to do a 48 port switch. Actually, no. I'm actually going to split. I'm trying to think. Because the cameras need to stay on the entire time. Yeah, I'm going to do a 48. Uh, I, can, I think I can get away with a 24. I'm going to put a 24 port PoE switch. This is, now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see. So Because I need to count these. And I'm actually going to do another switch inside of the media booth that's actually tied to the joystick and the cameras so that that way it can you power that off and it kills all the power everywhere else all right so let's go ahead and come on get to the side oh, whatever all right so let's do this real quick So again, I always do this so that it makes it easy. And I most likely, um, since I'm doing a full Unify system, I will probably make this also a Unify switch, maybe an eight port one, because um, we got the four cameras and then the joystick. Um, so I'm actually, let me do that. I'll change it to the 16 and then all of the computers will be connected to that as well too. So let me move this over here. There's our joystick. All right, and then the same way we'll connect our X32. We connect our ATEM because the ATEM will be handling the streaming. And we have our, oops, we have our PC that's also going to be connected. Now the intention is this is going to get turned off because there's no reason for all of this to have power unless somebody's in the media booth actually running everything. So that's how that's connected. Now we're also going to have a another 24, uh, 24 port switch here. This is going to be 16 um, with eight PoE connections um, jacks. And then we're going to have 24 here, which will give us 16. And actually, I stand corrected. That's going to actually going to be a 48 port switch here because this is going to support our access points. And I don't like any of these icons here. I'll just use this one. Um, this is going to be three access points that's going to be in the sanctuary, the back hallway, and then the front hallway. Those are POE powered, so all we have to do is run an Ethernet cable to them. That makes that simple. Let's move this back this way. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing for each one of these. All right. So that's going to provide that. But then we're also going to use do security cameras as well too. I don't know how many that they have because there is a limitation on how many it can be supported on the UDM Pro and we might have to do more. So I think if it's over 12 cameras, we might have to add a secondary NVR to that. So um, I'll keep that notice. But for right now, it's going to be one, two, three, four, four cameras for each of the doors, the entrances that are coming in. Um, another two for the parking lots. So that's um, six. And then the hallway, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're looking at maybe 10, 11, because we need one for the sanctuary. So I'll just say um, 11 cameras. And I need to know this so I know how many connections are being used. So if that's 11, we only have, well, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 14 right there. We have two more jacks available for PoE connections. All right, and then we have our, and I'm just gonna use this 
this will be our UDM Pro and NVR UDM Pro. And since we have a bunch of connections, so that's 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 14 connections right there. Um, we still have another 10. So we want to do, um, we got to run a jack, one cable that's going into the media room because it's going to go to a switch. So we'll have more for that. That's um, 14, that's 15. Then we have um, two in the conference room, 17. 18 another two for the children's room yeah i think we have enough yeah so that'll be enough for that so that's going to provide internet internet access points security cameras and then honestly i might even throw it in and throw the cables there just to do door access because it's there um if it need to be the cable is already there because it's just it's easy to do that and then um yeah, I think that's really it with the sound and everything. Um, so, again, um, one to another ministries, thank you so much. And I need to put a name here so I can remember because I'm going to send this to them. So, I'm going to go ahead and price that out. Realize that y'all know that I'll have a link down below to everything I'm using. This is going to be a big install um, because of the TVs and everything like that. Um, just honored for the fact that they actually reached out to me again. This is a church down in Georgia and the trust that I would come down from Virginia and help them out. I really feel honored to be able to help them. I'm looking forward to help get their ministry exactly what they need and set the foundation so they can move forward as well too. So like I said, link is down below to everything we're doing. I am super tired from driving all day. So, um, if you'd like to have a content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks, AJ. And of course y'all know if we get the contract, you know, I'm gonna bring y'all along with us to show you all the work.